is a certain checklist i want to give you to all the warriors that what you should do and what you should not do on the day of exam and one or two day prior to the exam unnecessary thing that is going to create a chaos for you and the most important part of this entire session is you are not supposed to get there we have it we have some do's and don'ts let's start the very first thing that we have to do is keep your necessary documents ready so whatever the government id is there with you that is your either voter card or aadhar card or maybe your pen card that you may carry with you along with that you must carry a recent passport size photo and also if you are physically disabled always carry your uh, this certificate with you of pwd then we have arrived there exactly at 1 hour prior and i must recommend you must arrive there 1.5 hour prior because it takes sometimes half an hour or even more than that to get an entry through that particular process then we have to read all the instructions very carefully guys oh we although we all know about whatever the rules are there and how basically we have to attempt the examination and it's not been changed from past few years as well but yes we have to make make sure that whatever the rules are there we have to read them carefully once at least and then check your exam center detail my suggestion is you should go and visit your exam center at least a day before your exam so that whenever you will be going for the main day or d day of the examination you will not face the rush out of that also there is one more thing we want to add is that you should use only the allowed stationery do not go with your smart watches mobile phone unnecessary thing that is going to create a chaos for you or do not bring those kind of thing only bring only use your black or blue ball pen paper with you and even if there is something that you mistakenly have carried give it to your uh, parents or what whoever is going for the as a caretaker with you stay calm and focus which is more important because what happens is that is a pretty good time of 3 hours consistently to you and that you have to utilize 100% then do one thing stay calm and cool so just take a pre meditation of around 10 to 15 second before starting the exam calmness cool down and just make a connection with the positivity and start your paper you will do the best then attempt the easier question first which is the strategy strategy most required strategy of this exam that do not go for the hard questions first always look on the question just whatever the question you are not getting is that it just pass the question pass the question pass the question come to the easy question and solve it because this is something which is going to save your time for the difficult one and specifically the subjects which are mathematics which is like time taking subjects then you should manage your time guys this is also a part of the same attempting the questions easy is also managing of the time because time sometimes is very important easy easy question we started the first we do not even relate with the time we are we are like okay we are kind of going to solve all the questions very soon and then really we realize that only half an hour one hour is left and we have plenty of questions left with three subjects so that is what we should not do and then uh, you manage your time by first of all start with chemistry my suggestion is this because i used it and i literally got some benefits out of it you should start your chemistry first because uh, if you start it from the chemistry uh, you can save your time for mathematics and physics you can do it quickly uh, chemistry part and that too in organic chemistry that is a very very uh, time saving subject i find and segment you should check your omr sheet uh, these days you might not be given with the omr sheet and you are submitting all the answers online only so you must check everything once again once you fill the answer you must check it once again that whatever i have filled is it according to my wish or not or i have done some mistake in submitting the answer or mistakenly some wrong option has been picked or not and then stay positive and confident that is a key factor of all of the entire thing this is what we have come to the do part that is what we have to do we have to stay confident in our three hours of the period we should not get in any kind of hurry or like unnecessarily thinking or anything now let us see what we are not gonna to do we are not supposed to bring unnecessary materials like our mobile phone any electronic device which is not even required over there unnecessary notes books which can create unnecessary problem to you do not carry anything in your pocket or with you on that day do not be late guys if you are late you will definitely be not allowed to get into the premises you will not be permitted so my suggestion go there one or two hour prior do not engage yourself in unnecessary conversation maybe in the examination hall other students may arrive to you may ask you some unnecessary question which are not even needed or your friend or your relatives which are there with you may ask you unnecessary thing don't interrupt yourself just stay focused on what you gonna to do in coming three hours yeah don't overthink the question question overthinking 
can lead us to the wastage of time. If you are wasting our time, you will definitely regret it. So do not waste your time. Only attempt those questions which are easy at first of all. Then later after saving the time, you can come to the hard one, which are making you to think over. Then we have to avoid the guessing recklessly. What is the meaning of guessing recklessly? That if you aren't sure about any answer, that do not give it a fluke, unnecessary fluke. And because that can give you a negative one mark. If you are 100% sure, then only do it. If you are like partially confident about something, then only go for attempting it. But if you are very much not sure, unnecessarily don't fall into any kind of trouble and just randomly picking that will create you a negative marking there. Don't leave a blank answers in the Oma sheet. That is also one of the part that uh, comes at the last only because what I find is a uh, correct answer can give you a positive 4 or incorrect answer can give you negative 1. But believe me, if you are getting a positive 4 marks, uh, you can also have 4 negative answers and with the 1 positive marks that will all be negotiated, that all will be managed. So that's how we have to think in that way that whenever we are attempting some question, we have to think that what question do I know and what I can pick. Because if out of five questions, if I do one only single correct and rest of the four negative, then also I am at zero. If I do two correct, I will be plus four. If I do three correct, I will get more than that. That's how to make it. Do not forget to carry the required document. That is your, uh, first of all, your admit card and then your ID and one passport size photo. And also do not violate any exam center rule, whatever it has been written there. Follow it religiously, dedicatedly. Otherwise, you can be thrown out of the examination. Unnecessarily, you will create a uh, problem. And don't carry the prohibited items as it has been already mentioned. So whatever it's required, just only go with that. And the most important part of this entire session is you are not supposed to get distracted by any of the meaning. Sometimes what happens whenever we are giving the examination, looking here and there unnecessarily can create us to be engaged into other things. Sometimes we may feel sleepy unnecessarily if we are not focused and we are getting distracted. So that is something that we have to take care of. Do not push your unnecessary uh, schedule unnecessary overtime spending on something else and unnecessarily trying to covering the entire syllabus right now at this point of time. Whatever you know, just rely on that. All the resources you already have are enough to you. You can easily qualify G main exam. This entire year, your preparations have gone best. So I wish you all the very best, everyone. Go and crack it. Let's crack the exam. J 2025.